Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be reviewing the Unbreak Cables FM Bluetooth Transmitter. Now this is a little device that's meant to plug into your old cigarette lighter, which I think they now call a, just a power port in your car. Maybe I'm aging myself calling it the cigarette lighter in the car. But this is a Bluetooth transmitter that's meant to connect to your phone and then transmit on an FM frequency. So you can take phone calls, listen to music, and control your phone all from a little device. How does this stand up? Pros and cons of it. And how does it compare? We're gonna be breaking that all down in this video and talk about the pluses and minuses. I know a lot of people's cars now are Bluetooth enabled built in. Sometimes they break. I've had a family member's car that does that. And sometimes you just don't have a car that offers that feature. And this is a great way to get hands-free, comply with state laws or local ordinances so you don't get a, um, a fine or a uh, unfortunate ticket and it also includes some charging ports to charge your device as you do it. We're gonna be breaking this all down, talking about the pros and cons in this video. If you wanna learn more about this product, I will put a link to it in the show notes and pinned as the first comment to it on Amazon if you wanna find it there. Disclaimer, this was sent to us as a review unit. They do not get to see this review or have any feedback on it. It goes live and they see it at the same time you do. All right, let's dive into it. First though, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, help us grow this new channel. We would really appreciate it as we try to grow and break down different products, let you know what we think, hopefully help you make a decision on what's the right thing for you. We reviewed a huge range of products on this channel. By hitting subscribe, by hitting that thumbs up, you let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hopefully we can help you. All right. So a few things about this FM transmitter. Number one, very tiny. It sticks up just a little bit out of your car and it works very well. Now a few things with it, come on camera. There we go. Uh, there is a channel button, you click this button to adjust the channel so you can pick the FM frequency you want. There is a bass boost. So if you want to get more bass out of your music, you can tap that and get bass boost out of it. Also has a little button here you press to answer phone calls. One of the greatest features of this is it does come with always on Siri or Google Assistant, depending on what type of phone you have, voice controls. So you can use this with the built-in voice controls here to control um, your music, answer phone calls and more without actually having to touch it, helping you stay compliant with state laws. You can just say, hey Google, hey Siri, and it will then allow you to do things like make phone calls, play a particular podcast, music, audible, audiobooks, whatever it is that you wanna do, pretty nice feature. It also comes with three USB ports, only two of them are charging. You have a quick charge USB 3.0, USB-C, which I really like, and then there's a USB 2.0 plug here at the top, kind of a hard, camera doesn't really wanna show this very well, right here USB. Now this one is meant to take a flash drive. If you don't have a smartphone, you can throw a flash drive on there and it'll play the music files, the MP3s off of that. I think today in day's age, it's actually probably more work than it is to just have a smart player or whatever on it through that. Now it is Bluetooth and then transmits over FM frequencies, which means the quality of the audio is good. It's gonna be FM radio. So if you're used to listen to an FM radio station, the quality from your phone is gonna be the same. Um, now for taking calls and our testing, the microphone in this is okay. It's definitely not as great as using the built-in microphone in my car because the built-in microphone in my car has got, in my car, two different microphones on both sides of the driver. On this, there's just one small microphone here and depending on where you place this in your car will depend on the quality. I know some people like to shove these, they now have these little cigarette lighters in like the glove box well, or in the armrest, for example. And if you're putting it inside a cabinet, the microphone on this is obviously not gonna work very well. Um, but yeah, so depending where you put this will depend on how the quality of the microphone happens. For the driver and the passenger, it works pretty well for the microphone. Uh, if somebody's trying to yell from the back seat and be heard, it's not the greatest microphone for that. Overall, it does a great job. Now, one thing I wish this does, and most of them do not, unfortunately, and that's programmable remembered stations. Now, if you're just driving around your home city, it's very easy to say, hey, you know, maybe it's 103.6 or something. I don't know what the station is. That's good for you wherever you live. But as you drive around and travel, you know, you may drive into a station area where that is a problem. And then you're fiddling trying to find one that is clear. I kind of wish this had programmable for two or three different um, presets. I could click through cycle. So I know, like, hey, I'm going to drive down. Maybe I drive over to the next city a lot. And I know in that next city, 
it gets busy and it, it will be locked up. The ability to switch over to that would be very, very helpful. Unfortunately, it's not a programmable option on it. It's pretty easy, just a little dial here and you get a LED uh, display, LCD, I should say. Um, and you can just jump around between the different frequencies, find one that's vacant and go from there. Now, very weak radio stations and more, this will overpower and do a pretty good job at. But if you're in a city where the signal on a radio station is strong, because of the FCC rules on how powerful this can transmit, because you don't want it disrupting radio frequencies, right? You don't want to drive down the road and your neighbor cars can't listen to their radio station because you're overpowering it. Um, that when you're in an area with a very strong FM signal on that same frequency, it will block it. it or the FM frequency will block this, to be exact. So keep that in mind. Overall, good device. Find a blank FM frequency, tune to it, you're good to go. It does a good job. It has a quick charge through USB-C, which I really like, and has an extra USB port there on it. Uh, the microphone for the car is, very, is good, not great. And I really like the ability for the always on, hey Google, hey Siri ability to play, answer calls, make phone calls and more, while complying with city and local ordinances for safe driving as you use your um, smart device to make phone calls and more. So keep that in mind, very nice. Two thumbs up, does what it says it's gonna do, and does it well. If you wanna find this, you can find a link to it on Amazon down below in the first comment and in the sticky um, description of this show. Hey, thanks for your support, I really appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. We'll be back with another video real soon.